City officials say they're putting health first with a comprehensive non-smoking ordinance. The ordinance states that smoke-free air shall have priority over the choice to smoke, also protecting those non-smokers who work in places where smoking is allowed. Getting strict with smokers, Harlingen is strengthening an ordinance that already prohibited smoking in public places to include bars, private clubs, and even the Valley Race Park. We haven't outlawed smoking in Harlingen. We just said you can't smoke in these areas where you might be invading other people's uh, personal space with your smoke. Mayor Chris Boswell says he was approached by the American Heart Association and the American Cancer Society in April. And after numerous public forums where the public showed support for the ordinance, the city council voted to make it official starting July 1st. This is an effort to eliminate the effects of secondhand smoke, uh, particular on em em the employee population who may have to work in that environment and maybe they don't want to they don't want to smoke. The use of e-cigarettes will also be prohibited in those locations. Several people are sounding off on our Facebook page. Daniel Diaz writes, I am not a smoker, but things like this should be left up to the business owner, not the city. I don't mind going into an establishment that allows smoking, and if it does bother me, I leave. However, the majority of the comments are praising the city of Harlingen for taking this action. Mark Bard writes, love it. Glad we won't have to breathe the secondhand smoke from someone else unhealthy habits. And Sharon Thompson says, I think this is great, but should be more widespread to cover more places and areas. Business owners should expect to receive official notifications of the changes soon. Now, places that will not be affected by this ordinance are speci specially designated rooms in hotels and motels, retail to tobacco stores and retail e-cigarette stores, and outdoor seatings in bars, restaurants, and private clubs. If you break the law, you can face a fine of up to $500. Live in the studio, Valeria Ponte, Action 4 News. All right, Valeria, is this the way to go? Leave your comments on Facebook.com slash Action 4 News. We're also on Twitter at KGBT.